Less than a year since town camp alcohol bans were removed, a possible return to prohibition looms. Unless we do have hard talks and make hard decisions, nothing's going to change. It's been a week since the Prime Minister's fly-in visit to Alice Springs. The report he and the Territory Government called for now urging action on new restrictions. All parties tight-lipped about what will be accepted. They want these issues addressed for the future, not just a band-aid measure that makes us all feel good and we can walk away from this for a few months or a few years. Government coming over the top and continuing to oppress people and tell them what is good for them does not work. Commonwealth liquor bans were imposed in 2007. Fifteen years later, in 2022, the laws lapsed. Six months after that, and with alcohol-related crime and hospital admissions soaring, governments may be bringing them back. They are now in a position where they have to apologise. They have to backflip. It's not the silver bullet. It's not something that's going to magically fix all of the problems in Alice Springs immediately. But if it acts as a bit of a circuit breaker, then potentially that could be a good thing. A meeting with the Territory's leaders today offered no instant resolve. The PM tweeting the report will be considered by respective cabinets next week. Governments will respond with the action local communities want us to take. The Territory Government also wants the Commonwealth to stump up needs-based funding to tackle the issue at its roots, which could be a sticking point as negotiations continue. Matt Garrick, ABC News.